Mexican, more like Mexicant. <laughs> a burrito shop in Portland has been forced to close after its white owners were accused of cultural appropriation, i.e. stealing their ideas for food from another country. So like the very burritos they were making, they folded. <laughs> Callie, Callie Wilgus and Liz Connolly say that during a trip to Mexico, they fell in love with the local tortillas. That's perverse. So they started their own joint back home. But after their story appeared in a local paper, you remember those, the internet mob accused them of exploiting the Mexican tortilla makers. And now locals have created an online list of more than 70 white-owned restaurants in the Portland area, accusing them of cultural theft. It includes names of white owners, the cuisine they serve, and lists competing restaurants owned by people of color, encouraging customers to try those instead. Explain, the list's authors, quote, it's about profit, ownership, and wealth in a white supremacist culture. These white-owned businesses hamper the ability for POC, people of color, to run successful businesses of their own. Here's me making a burrito. I have problems. Tyrus. Oh, yes, food. Of course it went to me. <laughs> all right. Wh why this, is that? Wait, wait. Is, okay, first of all. You can't uh, internalize everything. You it's said Tyrus, not cat. Uh, <laughs> Try that first out. First of all, this is beyond, uh, this, oh man, there's just so many words I can use that are inappropriate for this. People, there used to be commercials when the Italian guy would travel all over Italy looking for herbs and spices to bring back to make the best pizza. Yeah. Who owns Taco Bell? Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is... You hate to see it because for a long time, if this had been, if me and some brothers had opened up a, a pizza station and some Italians wrote all this stuff about us, they would be wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, it, whoever's writing this, if it's a minority group or whatever, they're wrong. They're wrong as hell and they should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> they have a right to make burritos. They have a right to make whatever they want to make. It's the American way and your color has nothing to do with it. And if their business is successful, it's because their food's good. Mm -hmm. It's not saying you get extra work. No, uh, cat. I believe that there's a direct correlation between those who create lists and those who take no risks in life. Like they don't open the businesses, they just wait till you open a business and then they complain. I don't think these people have contributed anything to their culture or their community other than being annoying. Yeah, and you know, if there's a burrito involved, it's usually not that serious. Right? Yeah. It's a burrito. <laughs> what I don't like about these two people who opened this business that had, they had to shut it down, they were spying on the tortilla makers mm -hmm. to try to figure out how they made it. And that just seems like a strange way to spend a vacation. <laughs> they were on vacation and yes. they were spying on tortilla makers? Go have a margarita like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, uh, do you think this is wrong? My problem with this is what they're essentially saying now is you have to flip this. Yeah. So what you're saying is Mexican people can only open tortilla restaurants. If they try to open something and make pizza, yes. now they would be doing the same cultural theft that they're yeah. being well, the, accused of. The issue is that they're the oppressed culture and the white people the ones that have never had a problem mm -hmm. is what they say yeah it's the same it's the same poetic well, truth that isn't well wouldn't it be I mean isn't this to, to take this culture and and to try to to you this is reminds me of Isaac Newton saying like if I see farther it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants so you yeah. take this culture yeah and and uh, to me it's paying respect oh to it. I and absolutely again, it comes and down to, to, to business right and the yeah. more people the more restaurants are with this food the more people are gonna be interested in this kind of food and everybody needs to calm down it's a burrito people come on calm down Joey, uh, I gotta I, get to Joey um, I'll take issue with this whole thing though yeah if you pile three pounds of food with 18 ingredients that's the big as your plate that's as American as it gets yeah There's nothing true. cultural about that that's, yeah that's us, right? Exactly. I, I, I wish I could enjoy a burrito, but unfortunately... <laughs> I don't give a damn what color you are. If the food's good, I'll come back. Yeah, that's true. Down. All right, we'll, we'll end there. Coming up, Tom Cruise is dead. Set on making Top Gun 2. I'm so excited. Seriously, confirmed it. It's happening. We'll discuss, plus the worst sequels of all time next.